Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com and today an old Italian favorite, brujol. This is a stuffed rolled beef that's cooked and braised in a little bit of tomato sauce and it's not that hard and in fact it's a great way to use old meat. That's right, two dollars off. I'm sure it's still good. I'm gonna take a chance. Okay, now a lot of times uh, people use tougher cuts of meat like top round, roast beef, that kind of stuff, rump roast, but this top sirloin was on sale as you can see. So what you're going to do here is you're going to pound this thin to about a quarter inch. I'm going to just use a piece of plastic. And that top piece, okay, that was kind of on the top there, I'm going to use that to patch that spot right there where all the muscles come together because that's kind of a thin spot. And I'm just going to give that a little tap so it's all nice and even because when I roll this, it's all going to be one piece anyway. Okay, so that's a little tip. Now for the stuffing, we have just regular plain breadcrumbs. That's about a half a cup. I'm going to do two cloves of garlic crushed, some nice olive oil, about a tablespoon or two. I'm going to put in a, I don't know, three or four tablespoons of chopped raisins. I don't like them whole. I like them in kind of smaller pieces. And about a quarter cup, a third of a cup of shredded Parmesan, a nice dose of black pepper, and a small pinch of salt because the cheese is a little salty. Now, uh, my uncle Bill makes this, and he puts uh, pine nuts and uh, other things, pancetta, different herbs and things. So this is a very basic one. I didn't have pine nuts, so I didn't use them. But I did have some beautiful fresh oregano from the garden, and uh, usually always gets an egg in there to, you know, bind everything together. So the cheese and the egg really hold this together. And then it's basically just a really flavorful, kind of sweet and savory and cheesy bread stuffing. So there's our pounded out top sirloin, about a quarter inch thick. Make sure you salt and pepper it very well before you stuff it. I'm gonna put half the filling in there. I have two of these. All right, now notice I left the top third of the beef empty, all right, or unfilled. So I'm gonna press that stuffing in, and I'm just gonna roll it up nice and tight. All right, and the end, because I left it uh, without stuffing, is gonna help that kind of seal together when it cooks. Otherwise, you can have stuffing kind of falling out, okay? Now, you don't need to do any fancy butcher knots. Okay, just take a piece of string and tie it around in a double knot and do that in three or four spots and that will hold it together. You don't need to do the fancy tie. Well, I do because I have a reputation to uphold. So I did the fancy butcher, uh, you know, trussing. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to saute those in some olive oil on medium high heat, get a nice brown on them, get something to deglaze. As you can see on the bottom there, I got some nice brown action. Right, I'm going to throw in some water there, a cup. And that water is going to deglaze the bottom and get off all those beautiful brown bits. A lot of flavor there. Now, if you're using the tough beef, the rump roast, the top brown that needs to cook a long time, you would actually cover this in sauce and braise it very slowly for like an hour so that the meat tenderized. But here we're going to use a little different method. So let's season this. All right, I'm going to give it a little bit of uh, red pepper flakes and uh, a bay leaf. And I'm going to throw in half a jar of tomato sauce. All right, and what I'm doing there is I'm rubbing the bottom to deglaze it. Okay, so now the liquid is about halfway up the brujol. I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer. All right, we're gonna cook it very slowly, meaning low heat. See that, it's just barely simmering. I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna cook it for 10 minutes on one side, and then I'm gonna just roll them over and do 10 minutes on the other. So it's gonna take about 20 minutes. It's not gonna be medium rare. It's gonna be cooked through, but it's not gonna be overcooked. It's not gonna be dry. You want an internal temperature of about 140. And because it's cooking in a wet environment, we don't really have to worry about it drying out. But we want to cook it up to that temperature so the stuffing really cooks and infuses the beef with all that nice flavor. So I'm going to take those out after 20 minutes and let them rest for about 10 minutes. I'm going to reduce the sauce a little bit to thicken it up. All right, now the good part. We're going to slice these. They've rested, so they're going to slice very nicely. They're not going to fall apart. And there you go. See, it's still a little bit pink, but the stuffing is cooked and the... Uh, the raisins have given up their sweetness and the cheese has kind of, uh, you know, infused its flavor into the meat. And then service could not be easier. You slice it, a little bit of tomato sauce on and under. I had a little walnut pasta. You may have uh, seen that in another demo. So usually recipes are either rustic or they're, you know, kind of fancy. This is both. So make some brujol. It's uh, fun to say brujol. And uh, I made it through the whole demo without doing a that's how I roll joke. Anyway, uh, that's how I brujol. Go to the site, get the ingredients and more info, and as always, enjoy.